name is Fila Becker, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And, you know, oftentimes <laughs> I find myself just bewildered that uh, at the life choices of people. So, where to start? So I think the central thesis for this video is being a shitty person is not a good thing. That is a bad thing. And the weird thing is the SJWs of the world, they love, love, love being shitty people. And it's just, it's, it's, it's bewildering to me. So this whole situation came about when a uh, Jeff from World Class Bullshitters, which is a great channel, Apparently, uh, crowdfunded a comic called Stealing Solo, which, I, it, look, if there's still any copies available, I'd love to buy it. Jeff, I'm in your corner on this one, mate. And, which is about a bunch of Star Wars fans so upset with Disney Star Wars, they kidnap Harrison Ford to make another Star Wars movie in, like, in their basements. It sounds kind of fun, and I would totally buy that. I would love to read it. It sounds great. Uh, so poor Jeff has run into some trouble. That his fulfillment, his printing and uh, fulfillment company has screwed up quite majorly. They've um, they printed the address on the back of the comic, and they uh, instead of putting it in a mailer, and they they've been sent out in a terrible condition. And apparently, some of the lettering isn't so great, and it, whatever, there's a lot a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, and look, it isn't when somebody when somebody hits a piece of misfortune. I, I hope he works through it quickly. I don't see how. I think, think he's, he's in real trouble. I think he might have to fundraise a whole other batch of money to reprint and refulfill the campaign. And Jeff, if you do, mate, I will I will totally... I'll have you back. I'll, 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 I'll put some money into that. Uh, we're all in this, in this together, right? Let's all... Yeah, really? And I I don't just mean everybody on my side, which is, which is the point of this video. We're all in this together in that we're all human freaking beings and we all should have empathy for one another. So... I understand the drive, the, um, the 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 drive to revel in some in somebody who you perceive to be your enemy's misfortune, but it's a bad thing to do. <laughs> I really, I, it makes you into a bad person, makes you into a more miserable person. That's really my uh, yeah, that's really my point here. So of course, you know the the SJW comic market that that hates. Hates the fandom menace and they hate Comics Gate because and they they hate them because they had a momentary piece of power when they invest uh, when they uh, what's the word not investigated invested not invested um, invaded invaders not really the right word infected maybe uh, infested that's the word I was after ah oh. when they infested like uh, points of culture the comic book uh, comic book uh, uh, that month. The comic book industry, Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, they infested areas of culture knowingly, willingly, and gleefully. And then when people turned around and said, I really don't like what you're doing there with, with these things that I love, they were like, oh, let me drink your fanboy tears. Nom, 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 nom. And it was just, they were just so gleeful at having control. Well, that control is pretty much over because after a few years of it, the consumers have decided, I don't want these comics uh, uh, under any circumstances. If you're going to stand there and insult me and bore me and not entertain me, I'm not going to give you my money. And so we see, we've see seen franchise after franchise implode and fall, ap for, uh, fall apart. And then do this incredible spin to pretend they're not imploding and falling apart. Really, Star Trek Discovery, if you're doing so great, let, let, let's hear what your viewing figures are. How, how are those short tricks, do, uh, tricks doing for you? Really? Hmm? What, what, you want to us? No, I didn't think so. Exactly. Uh, so their power is waning, and amazingly, who who would have thought it? Shitty people started to act even shittier when things get shitty for them because they're shitty people. So, uh, uh, bleeding cool, which is the uh, the 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 go to site for SJW comic books, which unfortunately has some really good news articles in as well. I just read it for the articles, honestly. No, but they did, they were good news source. But, oh, God, they're so vile. So they put out an article 
reveling, reveling in Jeff's misfortune, saying, hmm, and, and they pretend they don't, they're being journalists. They, Some people have told us that they're not so happy. Yeah, who are those people? The people who wanted it to fail, the people who hate Jeff, the people who hate the fandom as, people who hate comics. They all wanted it to fail because they view these people as their enemies. So let me talk about that first. Viewing anybody as your enemy is a pretty good indication that they're a sh that you are a shitty person. Now, if you're viewing them as their enemy because they have a slightly different view on how one should, what's the best way of um, controlling the economic of economics of the country you live in, that yeah, you know, it it gets crazy during election season. There's election going on in England, and my timeline is just clogged full with people uh, from the. British comic book industry, who are almost entirely left-wing and supporting of the British left-wing party called Labour, the British Democrats. And <clears throat> their entire campaign is essentially, I see post after post after post after post saying, if you don't vote the way you uh, I that they want you to vote, then you're an evil person. You're a heartless person. You are, you are heartless of hum uh, human suffering. Whilst at the same time, completely ignoring the human suffering that is inconvenient to them. You know, I uh, I read an article this morning describing them as selective anti-racist. And that's so true. You know, if they, 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 they get very upset if they feel somebody is being transphobic or Islamophobic, but at the same time rush to back the biggest, uh, most prominent anti-Semite whilst embracing anti-Semitism completely. They are selective anti-racists, uh, anti just as they are selective moralists. So that's not a good thing. <laughs> that's generally not a good thing. So, yeah, the choice one has in life is essentially you could do what you want or be who you want to be. Doing what you want gives you great short-term pleasure. It does. It, like 100% all the time makes you feel good at the time but ultimately leaves you in a cycle of self-hatred <laughs> and self-loathing uh, and continuing to do these self-destructive behaviors. Or you can be the person you want to be, which means almost universally not having a good time in the short term, but ultimately feeling good about yourself. So, and, you know, not, not being a, a selective about you know, how, how you're going to apply morality, but applying morality on a moral level, so on, 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 in a moral fashion. So, yeah, they've been, he's been, what's the word, dog pound? What's it? I can't remember. There's this uh, phrase on Twitter when you, you have a billion people, like, swarm you. Oh, yeah, he's being swarmed. I think that's, that's what it's called. He's being swarmed on, uh, on Twitter by these people who, who just hate him. They openly hate him because... They, they, they see him as a representative of somebody opposing their totalitarian control. Because so on every level, they're shitty, awful human beings. And because they're shitty, awful human beings, they are miserable and self-loathing. And because they're miserable and self-loathing, they're shitty, awful human beings. And they're caught in this never-ending cycle of, again, self-destruction and self-hatred. And just, I want to tell you guys, life doesn't need to be like that. See... This is what I think re re um, really happened. That whole side of the cult, cult, that whole side of this cultural divide we have, they hate biblical mo uh, morality, no matter what it is. And so, some parts of biblical morality that are actually incredibly beneficial for human beings. Like I don't think there's a better way of creating a better, a, a good human being than the family unit, having a mother and a father that love each other and care each other, and we'll argue, and we'll have disagreements, but we'll ultimately be together with one another, raising children who they love, and they care about, and they and they put before them. That makes well-balanced, decent human beings. And I'm sorry the divorce rate is so high today, and so many people come, come from broken homes. I, I'm sorry that happens. It, it, that's not the way things should be. But, you know, there's a real, the, we have an English expression called throwing out the baby with the bathwater, which is what I feel the Rich Johnsons, the bleeding calls of this world, do. They, they, they like anything, you know, like the, for example, the Doctor Who used to have a Christmas special until the, an SJW took it over, and he couldn't do Christmas specials anymore, now they have to be New Year's specials. Because anything, even with the taste of uh, biblical, uh, mo uh, 
morality. I think with even with the, the hint of that, they can't go there because they hate it. They hate it with such a passion. And yeah, so you know, that's really, I think, when you boil down to the cultural war, that that's the divide that we have. And I just want to tell you, you know, being a bad person is bad for you. Be a good person, even though you go don't get to do what you want. You get to be the person you want to be. And it's so much better. It's so much better. Even if I'm wrong about my entire worldview, even the Christians are wrong, even if, whoever, we're, even if we're all wrong, we're still ha- we have better lives than you. We're, we're happier than you. And I think that's what you really, really hate. No, you know what you really hate is that he was successful, that Jeff was successful, that Ethan Man Skyver was successful, your boy Zach was You hated that more than anything else, and you hate that you failed. You hated that you've destroyed this, these industries that you've taken over. You hated that there's landfills or Rose Tico figures. You hate that Mad Magazine folded. You hated that Vertigo had to close down, all because the work you do is terrible and you haven't been able to sell it. And, you know, just this bitter, angry hatred, it diminishes you. It makes you small and ugly. And it's just not a way to be. My name is Fila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And if anybody uh, like can comment or contact Chef from World Class Bullshitters, anything I do for you, mate. Anything I can do. I don't know what I can. I have your back. I Whatever I can do for you. I hope you get through this, these troubles as quick as quickly as possible. And, you know, you have my, you have, you're in my prayers, and you have my best wishes. Have a great day. Oh,